Hey everyone, so the key to beautiful braids is a clean scalp. Today I am going to do a steam treatment and a scalp scrub and then proceed with my normal styling. Right here, I separated my hair into four chunky sections and I'm taking Hemp Bay from Petri Co and I'm just massaging that into the scalp in all of those sections that I created. Um, this is just gonna promote, you know, circulation blood flow it's just going to help your scalp loosen up any debris or anything like that um, but it's also going to prepare your scalp to receive the oil and your hair to receive the oil um, so i'm just going to twist that section back up after i have applied the oil all throughout then i'm going to move on to the next section so i apply the oil specifically to the scalp Use the tips of my fingers to rub in circular motions. And um, don't forget about your hairline because when you steam, you wanna make sure you activate all of those areas. I'll be using the Q Redo Handheld Steamer. Um, I got this for Christmas on Black Friday a few Christmases ago. You can find that video on YouTube. And I just start at the roots. I let that steam just hit the roots. And then I just take the steam down after I've focused most of the attention at the roots. Um, you can use this to slightly detangle, but sometimes I find that I didn't do a very good job of detangling. So I don't try to force it if it doesn't happen. Um, after I steam that section, I twist it up tightly and then I clip it away and I take this little conditioning cap and cover it. I learned this trick from um, Kimberly Sherell. If you guys don't know her, follow her. So I'm just gonna complete each section. As you could see, I divided those four sections into two and I just work in smaller sections just to make sure that steam really hits my scalp, that it really um, opens up my hair cuticle. I have low porosity hair so a steam treatment is perfect for me to actually get um, moisture, actually get oils and things like that into my hair. Hey guys, so I let my hair, steamed hair, sit under this cap for a little while. I'm about to rinse the oil out with some shampoo and conditioner, and then I'm going to dry my hair with a blow dryer, and then I'll be back to show you how I'm going to braid my hair. Okay, so my hair is soaking wet. I'm about to scrub my scalp with filthy this is a scalp scrub so you just take a little bit little sections um, your hair should my hair is still kind of sectioned off from when I did my steam treatment but I'm just gonna go in between where I parted and just scrub in small circles um, the middle tends to be like a little dry spot so I'm just really trying to exfoliate that middle and get rid of some of the buildup and dandruff that might be there just to peel back a fresh new layer of scalp <laughs> so um i'm just gonna do that all over my head and y'all can see some of the pieces in there so and i just take little tiny sections don't try to take a big giant scoop because all of it's gonna fall off and then i also do it on the hairline right here because this is, I use like um, edge control and um, other products all the time <laughs> during the week. So you just want to make sure you remove that from your hair. Um, a steam treatment is going to help, but I'm going to exfoliate to ensure there is no buildup. And I'm not buffing very hard. This is still your skin and this is salt. So you don't want to cut your skin. You just want to buff the skin. It smells like bubble gum and candy and berries. It smells like candy to me. So here I'm just scrubbing the back of my scalp with that scalp scrub and I'm just ensuring that no area of my hair is left behind. Um, once the entire scalp is exfoliated, I rinsed it out and then I shampooed and conditioned like normal. And 
and now it's time to blow dry. So now it's time to blow dry and I've sectioned my hair in half. Um, you can probably section your hair in as many sections as you want. I'm just gonna do half um, and then probably quarters. I'm just taking my untanglement foam from Petrico and I'm just detangling before I go through with the blow dryer. This is the Cream of Nature Perfect 7 treatment. I use it as a, a heat protectant spray and I really like it. And yeah, so this is my Conair Goldberg blow dryer. I've had it for like six years. I think I got it from Sally Beauty Supply. And then that is a Denman paddle brush, which I have seen several different salon stylists use to blow out hair and I always wanted to try it and so I saw it in the beauty supply and I picked it up and I love it and I think my hair turned out really voluminous really full it's better than using the comb attachment in my opinion so here I'm just making sure everything is dry and blown out um, I don't need it super straight because I am just doing like box braids and cornrows in the front but I did want to have my hair started on a clean detangled base so you do whatever you like, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be using the Myel Organics Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream. Always looking for a hair moisturizer that I can, um, you know, use underneath my protective styles, all my wash and goes and all. I'm also gonna use Braid Glaze. Y'all already know from Petri Co. This is pineapple scented and it's right there. So I'll be using braid glaze. I use it for everything. I'm using some hair clips to keep my parts nice and neat and organized. I think in the last video, y'all saw me using these metal ones, but these were really hurting my hair. So I have them as a backup, just in case I need to do any serious holding down of the hair. But um, all the brands actually <laughs> that I'm gonna be using in today's video are black owned and operated so thank you god for that so um i did blow dry my hair i'm not sure if cream of nature is black owned i don't think they are but i did use this argan this cream of nature perfect seven leave-in treatment heat protectant and all these other things that it says um i've been liking this so I might keep using this. So we went over the, my styler. This is gonna be the moisturizer. We went over the gel. That's gonna help everything be tamed. Um, I will be using hair from Latched and Hook. When I said everything is black owned, I meant it. <laughs> so let me show you guys the hair. The color hair that I purchased was storm it's an ombre black to gray color you could see it kind of have like a bluish purplish tint but it's it's gray um but i really like the color it matches well with my skin tone i'm just cutting off the little rubber band so i can start separating the hair it's not pre-stretched which is fine um you just have to stretch it yourself which is super easy i have a video on that as well um, and here I'm just using my third rack and I would just put all of my divided pieces of hair onto the rack and you can see the color even more. Very pretty. And yeah, let's get right into it. Don't forget your handheld mirror. That is good. I'm gonna make a shirt. Start with a rough part. <laughs> Anyways, this is my rough part from ear to ear. Okay. It's not clean, not neat, not nothing. But what you're gonna do is take your handheld mirror. This is your handheld mirror. The camera is your regular mirror in your bathroom. Hold it, angle it, and start parting. Do little by little. A lot of y'all try to do a whole part in one full swoop, and it's like, you trying to bite the whole cake? Okay, well you need to be taking baby bites, so.
Here is a trick to really cleaning up your part. You take some gel, I'm taking braid glaze by Petrico. You swipe it onto the part that you created. Okay, don't be shy, swipe a good little amount on. After you swipe it on directly to the part, take your parting comb, take the metal end or plastic end, and then you're just going to carve out your line even further. And this is just what gives it that really crisp look. Then take the teeth of the comb and brush back the hairs that you separated and just repeat until your part is super neat. Okay, so in the back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all box braids back there. I'm not sure yet if I wanna do knot list or just standard box braids, but I know that this whole half back here is gonna be box braids, individuals, plaits, singles, whatever you wanna call it, dookie braids, whatever. But that's what I'm gonna do back there. So. Um, I'm for my size head. I think I'm gonna do four rows. I think I'll have enough for four rows back there if I Make five they'll be a little too small if I make only three rows They'll be too big and I don't know yet what I'm gonna do so so I'm taking my Petri part Petri essentials parting comb and I am gonna start off with my first row and here I'm just parting from kind of like the top of my ear to the other top of my ear. And again, I decided that I'm gonna do knotless braids back here. And not only are we gonna do knotless braids, I'm gonna kind of do a large size knotless braids. So once you have your first part down, go ahead, put your hair away, clean up the part, come back, and you're gonna divide that into Two sections so I'm just showing y'all that I'm going in with my little handheld mirror try to divide it evenly for me I'm dividing it evenly down the center for someone else who maybe has a larger circumference you might end up doing three braids back there versus me just doing two and that's fine just make sure your next row if you start with three that it has four okay or five braids so here I'm taking the braid glaze, I'm applying it to the base, to the roots of my hair. Then I'm taking that My All Organic Rosemary Styler and I'm pretty much starting at the roots and dragging it down to the ends because I want this part to be really protected underneath my braids. Then I take my um, rat tail comb and I distribute that product all the way through. Now I have several videos on knotless braids but you start it off with three sections of your real hair right get it in position take your first piece slide it in throw it back cross over uh-huh grab the top cross over all right now stop there get another piece of hair all right you want to make sure your pieces for me i made sure that my pieces my first piece started out a little small and then the three or four pieces afterwards um were just a little bigger again stop so you do two movements, stop. So you take your hair, slide it in, throw it back, cross under, cross under, and stop. So it's very repetitious. For me, knotless is so much more simpler than traditional box braids, and I love the way that they look. I can put my hair in a bun um, immediately <laughs> after styling, so I love that. For this size, I added about five pieces of that braiding hair. The braiding hair, I found it was very, it was pretty much good. Um, I don't have any complaints. My head wasn't itching. I'll give you guys more of an update in about a week. I'm going to get back to doing updates after I do a style. Just so you guys can get my point of view and everything like that. So once you've added in your pieces of hair, you're going to switch positions and you're going to start braiding down um you see here i have my gel i'm applying it to my real hair and i'm going to blend it in with that braiding hair that's just so that way as i'm braiding down my real hair doesn't stick out that is a tip for you guys apply the gel to your real hair <laughs> and then blend it in with that braiding hair and your hair shouldn't stick out so I'm just going to repeat that all throughout and I'll come back later.
I'm back. Here is my first row. Two large sized knotless braids in the back. Next, you see my <laughs> other row. So I just wanted to fill out the back of my hair with those box braids. You see that? Yeah. So I like the way that it turned out. Um, remember to well, so I started out braiding my hair all the way down, but then I had this ingenious idea to be even more creative. And you guys will see later on in the video what I'm talking about. But this is what the back of my hair looks like. Making sure that when you're parting, you brick layer. This just helps you not to see so much space in between those braids, especially with knotless braids. So here's the front of my hair. I just parted it down the center to begin um, the parting process for a middle braid, um, which I always do mainly because of my bald spot. So when you are doing your cornrows in the front, if you are one of the girls who loves the baby hairs, make sure you leave out your baby hair prior to actually doing the cornrow. Now here is a little something that I've been practicing with. Um, I part off just the very front of my cornrow, right? It's divided in three sections and I'm just going to kind of braid that section. It creates an anchor. For me, my hair slips so very easily whenever I add braiding hair in it. And this I found helps my braid stay at the front. If any of y'all have really slippery hair, you guys know what I'm talking about. Your braid, the knot of your braid looks like it started way in the back. So anyways, I'm still doing a normal feed in braid. Um, I'm just making sure I take really small sections, cross over, cross over, cross over. And then now you're gonna go ahead, once you feel like your foundation is secure enough, you'll take a piece of extension here. You're gonna slide it in and then you're gonna go ahead and just continue braiding. And you're just gonna continue that same movement. After each piece, you cross over, cross over, slide in, cross over, cross over, slide in. So for me, this is like super repetitive and I think that this is one of the most challenging parts of braiding that I have ever tried to really master or really get down. Um, I'm getting better, but I could definitely, you know, practice a little bit more. So Okay, here is basically my final look. It's not the final look, but it's almost the final look, but this is just how it looks. So knotless braids in the back. You can see they're swinging. And then I just took the cornrows that were in the front. I just took that hair and put it in two buns because I wanted to see what that would look like. So right here, I'm just showing y'all. I'm taking my paddle brush. I basically, I took rubber bands and I sectioned off that piece of hair almost as if I was going to cut it into a bob but what you see I'm doing is taking a perm rod this is the only size I had so that's what I'm using and I am experimenting with some curly ends <laughs> yeah so you want to make sure that you as you um brush it out it's nice and detangled and then as you put it on you're going to like twist and turn twist and turn so don't just try to wrap it around. Otherwise you have like a Shirley Temple type of curl and I didn't want that. I wanted a more of a fluffy type of curl. So these were my tester pieces. <laughs> if it didn't turn right, I was just gonna take those braids down and then just do two more braids, but you'll see here. Make sure when you're dipping, especially for these, dip it in hot boiling water for at least 30 seconds. This was 30 seconds. Hopefully it shows it. If not, it was 30 seconds. You want to make sure that hot water really penetrates and really sets that curl. Otherwise, it won't 
actually be formed and defined. It'll be frizzy and a mess. Um, just make sure you have a towel handy so you can dry it off, squeeze some of that water out. I was debating on whether I should let them sit, which I probably should have just let them sit, but I was being impatient and I really wanted to see how it looked, <laughs> so I took it down. The curl probably would have been just a little tighter. This is what it looks like, and I think it looks super adorable. Everybody's into this whole goddess box braid look these days, and I'm not mad at it. Um, you know, everybody has their own style, and I just thought that this was super cute, so I'm going with it. I think it's very pretty. They look like clouds. So I'm going to just finish the rest of my hair off, as you can see right here, and <laughs> we're done. Super simple, mo mostly, but I think it turned out very beautifully. Um, the reason why I decided to go with knotless box braids in the back and cornrows is in the front, so I could do like half up, half down styles, I could do a bun, I could do two buns, I could have a lot more flexibility with this style. If you guys um, would be open to trying this color, comment down below. If not, you know, what do y'all think about the spirals? Would you try them? <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching this video. All products are gonna be listed down below. Catch you later, bye.